I'm staying at the Ibis Whitechapel Road Hotel. Um, I'm just here for one night. I'm back tomorrow. As you can probably tell from the title of this um, vlog, I'm here today with Elsie and Fred. I really can't believe I'm saying that, that I'm working with Elsie and Fred. Like, I'm shook actually shook. They were in my Ibiza vlog last year and I also bought a pair of Lamambas off them like 2017 for when I went to Rome, so years ago. I've literally loved Elsie and Fred for years and I'm so, so happy that they want to work with me. So today they asked me to come down to shoot some stuff for their new collection and also get a little glimpse at their new swimwear collection. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be really, really good. I'm meeting some girls um, that I've not met yet that I speak to all the time on social media and stuff, so I'm super excited. And also I'll get to meet some new people too that I've recently became friends with through Elsie and Fred. So it'll be such a good day. I'm so buzzing to be here. I love London. It's like my favourite place in the world. Um, I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing. You probably would have seen it on the gram already. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Louisa Baxter. Um, you should definitely follow me. I don't know why I said it in that accent. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this little black Levi's crop jumper. Jumper jacket. And then how amazing is that top? It's Freddie Mercury with his yellow jacket on and I'm just wearing these like little silver layered chains and then my off-white bag in with the strap and this tutu from Zara and this belt from ASOS and some polka dot tights and some docks that aren't actually docks from iCrush but they look the exact same so yeah, love this outfit, think it looks really cute but I really need to go, I'm running super late so I'll vlog once I get there I just thought I would show you is what I got in this box because I briefly showed you yesterday but I didn't actually go over everything and to be honest I've not properly looked in it myself so I thought it would be good if I actually showed you so this is what the box looks like it's like such a nice neon pink colour this is like my favourite colour I love neon pink it's so nice and then it's got like Riot Girl on it and then it's got the same what a time to be a girl and then at the top it's got my name I love personalised stuff even though it's at the back of the box because I can never get anything with my name on it and this is spelled name right so it's always a little bonus um, and then once you open it up it looks like this it's got some tissue paper and then when you open it it's full of some little goodies um, right so I'm just going to go through these and just talk about where they're from and what they are so the first two things at the top of the box are these Elsie and Fred jewellery it's like these diamond hoops I haven't wanted a pair of diamond hoops for actual ages so I'm actually really really chuffed I got these they look super cute I think they're really nice how they're blingy and I got this little necklace it's like a little cross diamond necklace super cute and then inside as well I'm going to open wait for seconds right. 
And inside there's like little cards. This one says, oh, it's not all focusing. A not so gentle reminder that you are a badass boss and you're capable of anything you put your mind to. Hashtag get the brain. No, hashtag train the brain. I'm actually looking through the camera trying to read that, forgetting that I can actually look over the camera and read it. I'm so stupid. Got a little holler and glow, glitter glow face mask. This is by the brand, I think it's Glitter Glow. Um, this is super, super cute. You can see actual in it there's like little stars and stuff. So this is super cute. I'm really excited to use this. I was going to do it on the chain home, but I'm maybe like a bit daft with a pink glittery face mask on so next thing this is so cute i had a read of this yesterday and this is adorable it's like this little tiny little stick man and it's a worry doll basically it's a legend amongst the highland indian villages of guatemala and it's like if you've got a problem with your worry doll before you go to your bed you tell your worry to each doll and then place it beneath your pillow and then when you awake they will take your worries away it's got such a nice meaning behind it and it's super cute this is actually really really cool i read what this was and i was like whoa this is quite cool it's like a nail polish remover cream so you put the cream on your nails and you leave it on for like a minute or like longer if you've got a top and base coat on and then it takes your nail polish off like, how cool is that? I was actually shook when I seen that. I was like, that's so good. So I'm hoping that it doesn't have a horrible nail polish remover smell. That would be ideal because I hate the smell of that stuff. It's horrible. Um, but this is by the brand, I think they're called I Don't Care. No, they're called The Sign Tribe. Um, the Sign Tribe. Yes, it is The Sign Tribe. And then the little sticker is really cute too. This I got, this is actually so cute. This babe bites back, which is so true. I will bite back, um, but yeah, it's just like holographic, it's got a bit of texture, I don't know what I'll, like, what I'll use it for, I was thinking maybe on a night out if you had like, just like a plain outfit you could use it as your clutch bag, or like, see on holiday, like, I like to keep my euros, my ID and everything like that all in the same place, so I might do that for like all my money and stuff I think, because it's not big enough to fit makeup in, it literally fit in like, not even my eye stuff because I use that bloody much so I think I'm going to do that or maybe for my makeup brushes or something from oh it's from Boots it's from their my mood range two things I got I'm as well doing them together because they're both from Barry M and the first one I'm actually really really chuffed about because I've been wanting a lip scrub for ages but it's one of the things like I'm like I want it but I really don't I've not got the time to go and buy it like I never think about getting it what like flavour or smell is it Oh, mango. Hmm, nice. I'll let you know if it's good or not. Um, and then the next thing is Gloss Me Up Glossy Liquid Lip Liqueur and Lip Liner. Ooh, I wonder what colour it is. So this is what it looks like. There's like a little Gloss Me Up lipstick and a lip liner. I'm going to go in and quickly swatch these, see what they look like. Hopefully they're quite nice. I don't usually wear like a ready colour, but it might be like more of a pink. I can't really tell. So this is what the colours look like, they're definitely not my colour, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say oh my god love this, they're not my colour, it's like a bright pink coral which I don't tend to wear very often, um, I usually stick with nude or like a red once in a blue moon and then usually just like nude pinks, so I'm going to give it to my little cousin because she loves like pinks and corals and stuff, so Keely if you're watching this, this is for you, come and pick it up whenever you fancy, not for me, but it is really nice though, like it's a bit of a glossy like liquid lipstick I think, that's what it's meant to be and it is quite nice, lip liner seems really good as well, but yeah, it's quite cute, like it, just not really my shade. And then the last thing I got was my outfit and I chose the orange Memphis two piece, so it's like, oh, it's actually beautiful. I was meant to get pictures on it yesterday because we were like getting pictures and stuff, but I was like, no, I tried it on and I was like, it's too nice. Like I want to keep it for an event because once you put a picture on the gram, that's it. You, you can't get it out, but again, no, that's just what I'm like. But yeah, these are the flares. They're so n nice, like so so nice i got these in an extra small i know i'm shook as well i somehow fit an extra small but basically i tried on the small and they were just too big at the way so i was like right let's try a small eh, an extra small so i tried them on and they fit really well so i'm very very chuffed i love them and then i got the top to match i'll take out the package just now this is the top it's like that i'm trying to show you what it looks like yeah so it's got the bit there for your boobies and then 
it's just clear. Oh, I can't get it to move. Oh, it's stuck. Yes. And then it goes like that kind of at the top. It's like a halter neck. I just think that'll be so, so nice together. I'm going to get a nice pair of like orangey nudes, like thong pants to wear with it. Um, and I just thought like, see with like black thick soul dot martins and a black bag and stuff, it'd be quite nice. Or you could even do another pop of colour with it. I was thinking like maybe like a bright yellow or something would be quite cool with it as well. Also, I got the top in an extra small. Um, it's really tight, like, see when you're trying to zip up, you're like, this will never fit, but then once it's zipped up, it is fine. And the same with the Memphis flares, just if, when I'm putting them on, it takes me quite a while to get them on. I just need to keep, like, slowly sugaring them up. I don't know what other word to use for that, but just trying to get them up quite slowly. And then once they're on it, they fit amazing. So, yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. But, yeah, that's everything I got in the box, just thought I would quickly show you. Is. Um, if you're wanting to buy anything from Elsie and Fred, my... Discount code is Riot Girl Louisa. It gets you 20% off, which is loads. You are saving some amount of pennies with that. And so, yeah, definitely get some stuff. Their stuff's perfect for like festivals, raves, Ibiza, like even like Magaluf and stuff like that, too. This stuff's like unbelievable, like so, so good. So, yeah, definitely check them out. I'll put their website down below, too. I just thought I'd quickly update the vlog because I've not really spoken much, in all honesty. When I get home, I'm going to basically tell you everything that happened. It's just right now, I'm really needing to go because I need get something to eat before I get my train. I had such a good day. I am feeling very fragile today though because I ended up really drunk. Not gonna lie. Um, but it was such a good bloody day. But now I'm just ready. I got up and ready. I don't know how because I'm feeling, like I said, very fragile. Now we're just gonna go to the train station and get something to eat. Rachel is here. She's in the back. Hey. Is this recording? Yes it is. Um, yeah, she stayed here last night, so we're going to go to my train station, well not my train station, the train station, and get something to eat there and then I'll get my train home. But yeah, like I say, I'll update once I've got something to update about. Just sitting in my car, I was about to go in the house, but then I realised I haven't actually finished off my vlog. And I thought I'll just quickly sit here now and blather with you, because I've been sitting here for literally about 20 minutes. So I thought I might as well do that before I go in the house. I didn't vlog yesterday, because honestly, I was so hungover um, when I was on my way home on the train. Um, my plan was to edit all my videos, but the cable, like the bit where you put your cable, the plugs and stuff, weren't working on our carriage. So I hadn't charged my laptop or that either. So I couldn't um, edit anything. So I was just like, great. So I was going to vlog while I was sitting on the train and just updates and everything that was going on. But because I was so rough and I felt really awkward because of loads of people sitting beside me, I was like, I'm just going to leave it, wait till I got home. And then once I got home, I was so, so tired. Like my eyes were actually sore, like trying to keep them open. So when I got home I just got something to eat and basically went to sleep because I was so shattered because a full day of travelling does take it out yeah I had to get two trains and stuff and overall it took me like six hours to get home today I feel fine, I'm back to normal, thank goodness I'm about to go into the house and get myself organised and go to the gym feeling much better today, thank god so I just thought before I go in and get myself organised stuff I thought I would just quickly update you um, this is quite a short vlog I'm a bit annoyed with myself because I didn't vlog a lot but it was just one of the things because it's like my first ever like kind of like blogger type fashion event I was just so in the moment, I was just like, oh my goodness, like it was kind of one of the things where I couldn't actually believe it was like happening to me, so I was just kind of a bit like in the moment and stuff, but I'm going to get clips from all the other girls that were there and hopefully I can come up with quite a longer video, um, but yeah, it was absolutely unreal, like I said yesterday, um, I had such a good time, it was so, so good. I was quite nervous before I went because I kind of was like, oh my god, imagine I, I end up going really awkward because... I can literally talk to a brick wall like so I can talk to anybody but if someone's awkward then I get awkward and it just it's not very great but every single person was there was lovely like so so nice and so welcome in and it wasn't awkward at all I literally felt like I knew I had known everybody for like years it was crazy but it was so so good so basically like what happened when we got there uh, is we were all just like chatting and stuff and then we all put on like the new collection and um, they had like loads of different sizes on the nails and stuff so we all just tried on all different outfits and got all different pictures and stuff like that just for Instagram and stuff so I got some amazing pictures I can't wait to upload them all I'm so chuffed with how they all turn now so yeah we just like got loads of pictures and all the different outfits and stuff and as you can see from the videos like that I took there was loads of like um, food and stuff like that and lots of drink 
So once we'd done like our photos and things like that, we all just got changed back into normal clothes and ended up all just getting really drunk. Oh, and also we got our boxes, our promo boxes. I showed you them yesterday as well. They are absolutely amazing. I can't wait to literally use all the stuff in it. So yeah, we got them as well. It was absolutely brilliant. It was so, so good. We went in for a little while after it, but we went to this place and by this point, I really can't remember much at all. But the girl I was with, Rachel, me and her were like, this is rubbish, let's just leave. So we just left, got McDonald's, and we were home for like half 11. So that was just like a bang average night for me. I do that all the time. I go out and I'm like, this is crap, and go home. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely amazing. And then yesterday, I was, my train was at half 12, so I didn't really do too much. I just got up, tried to get a grip on myself and get up and get organized, and then quickly got something to eat. I just had to get a Burger King, because we were going to go to the breakfast club. Um, a girl I know that lives in, um, London, she used to see where I stay, Lauren Rankin, recommended me to go to the breakfast club and I had a look and I was like, oh my god, we need to go. But by the time I got a grip and got ready, it was like 12 o'clock and my train was at half so I was like, right, well that's not going to happen. So I'm quite gutted, but I definitely want to go there the next time I'm in London. Just done that and then I got the train home. So that was about it. It was a very short journey to London, but a very good one indeed, very worthwhile. That's it for this vlog, a very short one, and I do apologise again. But nonetheless, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, comment down below what your favourite piece from the collection is. I would love to know because I love all of it. Specific favourites um, is the yellow velvet Riot Girl two-piece. Why is this zooming in? Oh my goodness, why has it just done that? Right, I didn't do that. Whoa, why is it doing that? Right, I had to stop the vlog. I don't know what my camera's doing. I just see the end of the clip, but the lens keeps zooming in. I'm having to hold on the thing to stop it from zooming in. I'm going to need to check what's wrong with when I go home. My favourite things in the collection is the yellow Riot Girl velvet two-piece. It's absolutely beautiful and like it makes your figure look unreal pop in and the orange memphis two piece. I love all of it, like all of it is absolutely amazing. And also there's a new collection coming out in May. So you need to stay tuned for that because we got to see some of the stuff early and oh my goodness, like I was in heaven looking at all the stuff. I was like, I need all of this right now. So in May I'm probably going to be terribly skint because I'm going to buy the whole collection. They're also bringing out a swimwear collection as well at the end of this month and we didn't get to see that but from what I've seen so far it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like. Oh my goodness. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you would like to see more videos um, for the near future then just subscribe down below. But yeah that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you next week with a new one. I know my uploading's been terrible but it's happening. I'm back. I'm definitely doing it as much as I say every single time. Oh like I'll do it next week and I don't. It's happening. I'll be back, I'll be here every week, well I'll try every week, it's just very hard because I work full time as well. But anyway, I am just gabbering all the rubbish now, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you all next week with a new one. Bye! She was here with me last night, um, I don't know why I said that like that. Exhale the BS. Exhale the BS, don't know what that means. What the fuck does that mean, BS? Mm. Oh, what? Oh, 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 yes. I got the orange two piece of ES honey. But right now we're like very drunk, like <laughs> very, very drunk. So we're going over, you know where we're going over the London Bridge, like the big London Bridge, like look, they're same, I don't know what it's called, but the one beside Big Ben. Woo! Here we go, party. Oh, I wonder if I can do that. Ooh, 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 ooh